Now at 6, police and administrators are promising to protect students in Brockton after a middle schooler says she was assaulted walking home. This 13-year-old girl says she was able to fight back and get away from the man. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. She gave police a really good description of the attacker. And as WBZ's Beth Germano shows us, police were out in force trying to find him. The call came in to Brockton and school police today. A teenage girl sexually assaulted as she walked home from school on Tuesday and they were canvassing the area. And a man approached her and this man sexually assaulted her. She was able to get away. The 13 year old attends West Middle School. Police say there was a struggle near this driveway on West Elm Street. The man described by police as a black male in his 20s wearing a black shirt with multicolored lettering and on a blue bike with white lettering. Police give the young girl credit for quick thinking. I think very smart, very smart that she was able to get away out of the assailant's grasp and get home. This afternoon in an area not far from the crime scene, police were seen questioning a man. He was eventually put into a cruiser along with a bike, but police are not saying if he's a person of interest. A lot of cases you get descriptions of individuals. Police, if they see something that maybe matches that, they start questioning him. The Brockton school superintendent put out a statement to families saying in part, we are working closely with the Brockton Police Department to both support the affected student and their family, as well as support police in identifying a suspect. Brockton School Police had an increased presence in the area around West at dismissal today and will be providing additional support in the coming days. The superintendent, along with police, urging vigilance in the area. Make sure you're vigilant and make sure your student is vigilant and they know their surroundings too. Police say the suspect is also missing two front teeth. Again, the girl was able to break away and run home, but this remains a very active investigation with police also looking for the public's help. In Brockton, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.